So today I'm gonna take you on a graffiti walking tour through Hell's Kitchen. Now Hell's Kitchen is a place with extensive history. So I'm gonna make the best of it and see what's currently around. And I'll look for some really old tags if there is any left. And I am definitely interested in seeing what's new. But yeah, so much has changed. So this has to be one of my most favorite pieces still running in the city. That it's an original Espo Stephen Powers piece. They were actually selling prints of it for 20 bucks at the Beyond the Street show recently in Brooklyn, which was a, a pretty amazing uh, thing to buy. Because even if they sold that, a print of that for 100 bucks, I would have bought it. The 20 bucks, that's like the, the coolest piece of artwork I ever bought. But anyway, this roof, you could see it from the buses coming out of the Port Authority. And it's been here for over 20 years. What's really crazy about this roof is there was pieces below it. I think Care, the legendary writer from Philly, had a piece up there and a bunch of other pieces. And I always just wanted to get a picture of them. They were running for so long. Those pieces were up there for so long. I worked in one of these buildings over here like two years ago and every time I'd go to work I was like damn I'd love to get up there to get a picture and I'd wait I'm thinking like I can go up with the, the air conditioning guys on the roof or something and the day the very last day I worked this is so crazy the very last day I worked in the place over here of my friend a very close friend of mine painted this sign and he had the telescope ladder out and everything. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I don't come to this neighborhood anymore. So my friend's up there painting the, the banner. I mean, this is after the fact. I already, like, I was just like, that was my opportunity. I could have I could have went and got nice pictures of that, those pieces that were untouched for like 20 years. And now they're all gone, but whatever. I mean, it happens.
that's a pretty legendary tag. For those of you not too up on the history, Band 2, OTB. I want to say this was the late 90s they painted this and they it got buffed and then the buff the buff like faded away and the pieces popped back out which is pretty amazing but yeah this is a really classic wall that's coming through the buff i don't know if you could see it These are some pretty classic tags. I'm not sure how old they are, but I believe that's a rog rock tag. I think that's pretty old. See, Hell's Kitchen has a lot of, they have a lot more than I know about of hidden gems as far as old tags, but I don't know. I'm sure there's some rooftops, hidden alleyways that I'm not aware of that have some real history but I'm just showing you what I am aware of. I mean, I could think of a couple dozen things that I'd love to show you right now from my memory, but I know for a fact it's non-existent anymore.
So I don't know if you could see this very well. But that's a comet tag. That's a comet and blade. There was a blade tag there. I don't know how old they were. I'm not gonna say that it was really old. But I don't know, maybe it was covered up for a while. I remember seeing this a few years ago, but the, you can still see the comet. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe. What I remember is there was a Calvin and Hobbes character painted also on the bottom of this wall, like below the same piece. And right now it's covered up with dirt. So if they ever um, excavate this area, I mean, they knocked down and cleared out a lot as it is. So this is the Javits Center. For those of you that aren't familiar, it's just a major, enormous sized convention center. They have all sorts of events here. The legendary graffiti pioneer, uh, Phase Two, who recently passed away, he had a sculpture inside the Javits Center. And it was built with a sculptor by the name of Douglas Abdel. And I think 2012 or 2013, I believe, they did some renovations on the Javits Center and during the renovations they destroyed the sculpture 
Now the sculpture was in the Javits Center for like 20 years. I had no idea about it, which is crazy because I've been here before and it's I've never really heard about it like in the, in the media and I've never even heard people talk about it. So I don't think it was that known, but it's basically it was destroyed and phase two actually sued the Javits Center and I'm not sure whatever became of it. I mean, I'm, I'm only finding this information out recently. But now every time I pass here, I think that like, I think that maybe it's still there, but obviously it's destroyed, they said, so. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you like this video, and I'll catch you on the next video.